What's up everybody, Shayar Synergy here, and today we're going to be doing a different style of videos. You know, it's no news. I mean, I know there's been a lot of news lately, but I've been a little busy, and I'll explain that throughout the video as well, why. But, today we're going to do a little tier list of Sonic games, actually. I'm trying to see if it's all Sonic games. It seems to be, but I'd assume there would be more. Like, where's Sonic Schoolhouse? Anyways, um, well, right before we get started, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos because this is not my normal style of videos, and those of you who've been sticking around know that I do news videos for Sonic stuff, but I like throwing in things like this every now and then because why not, right? And that's a lot of games. All right, and I've been gone for a while. When was my last video? Like, 13 days ago and then before that it's been like two weeks like the last video before the last video was like a month ago and that's because I've been doing a lot of things for this channel there's a lot of plans not just for this channel just for me in general on YouTube slash twitch you see that right here you see co underscore share I was testing I was playing around I was playing around with some tests and I don't know I feel like I'm gonna start getting into streaming um, a lot of random things, just hanging out, playing games, and just grow that way. Like, games, obviously, like, Sonic games, I might even do Minecraft, stuff like that, and Mario games, whatever, you know, like, just, just hang out on stream, just go with the flow, just do whatever, have fun. That's what the streams look like. I'm starting, I'm thinking about starting some new channels as well. I have the Sonic channel. I'm thinking about starting a channel just for random things. I don't know if it's a second channel or if in the future it'll end up becoming a main channel, but it'll be cool. There'll be like a lot of other things. And then there's a few other channels, but I'm not going to get into them right now, but I'll let you guys know in the future for sure. But for right now, let's get into this tier list. And starting off, we got Sonic Advance for the Game Boy Advance. Not Advanced, Advance. I hate it when people call it Sonic Advanced. It, it, I just, it's a weird pet peeve I have, but whatever. Let's start with it. Sonic Advance. Where would I put this game? Oh, the Advance series was really good. <laughs> like, all three of them are just hits. To me, at least. They're pretty good. But, n I already have an idea of what could go into the S tier. So, for now, I'm going to put this one in A. It, it, it works at a Sonic Jam. It wasn't that a collection. I know it wasn't a top tier collection. I'll give it a C. It has its issues. It does have its issues. It's no Sonic Mega Collection. But yeah, I guess C works. Lost World. Oh, this might be controversial. Um, lots of people hate Sonic Lost World. I'm. I'm not I'm not a part of that I'm, I'm just it's different yeah but it's just different so when you compare it to other games it's like a little unfair but I know it does have its issues it does have its issues but there's just so much fun to it there's that whole parkour mechanic that I kind of wish we get like another game similar to it because the idea was good it was just presented in a bad way and then the, oh, this is a hard one there's a lot of good in this there's a lot of bad too. Soundtrack's obviously good. There's no Sonic game with a bad soundtrack. There might be some games where it's not your cup of tea, but it's not bad. For Sonic Lost Ro Ooh, that is a toughie. I don't know. I feel like I want to give it an A. You know, for now, let's, let's move it to a B tier. It might change to an A. It's definitely not an S tier game. Sonic may... It's just up there. It's... <laughs> It's so good. Sonic Mania is awesome. Obviously, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 kind of takes the cake over it. But we're not there yet, so I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to explain why, though. What is this? Oh, Sonic CD. You know, when I was little, I always thought this was, like, the best classic Sonic game. But then when you get older, you just you see all its flaws, and it's just not as fun as you'd think. I feel like part of the reason why I thought it was fun is because I never owned the game, and I always wanted to. I guess that kind of just blinded me, but it's you know it's a good game. It's just there's a lot of weirdness to it that takes you away from the game. It's not. Uh, 
I want to say it's not linear. It, 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 it throws you in different areas, which is annoying. Sonic 06. You guys are going to hate me for this. That's an S tier game. 100%. It's. Yes, it has its issues. It has glitches and everything. Um, but. Overlooking the glitches. And a little piece of the story. It's an awesome game. I love Shadow Story and Silver Story. I loved all the mechanics. Wasn't this like the last mainline Sonic game where you could play as more than just Sonic? Yeah. That that was cool. Like playing as Shadow, playing as Silver, and then having little stages where you can play as Tails, Knuckles, Rouge, Omega, like, and Blaze. It, it was just good. Like, we needed that. It's a good game. I'm sure you guys are going to hate me for putting it over CD, but it is what it is. Like, I would much rather play Sonic 06 over Sonic CD. It's a good game. The sound, okay, the soundtrack, I do even have to talk, but everyone talks about the soundtrack. I don't even have to mention that. You guys just know it's phenomenal. It's probably still the best Sonic soundtrack out there, along with the adventure games. Forces, yeah. I mean, are you guys really surprised, and do I really have to go into it? There's just, everything's wrong with forces. The gameplay mechanic. The only good thing, or almost good thing, was the story. But then the writing comes in the way. It's like they got someone really good at writing to do the story. And then they got someone really bad to do, like, the dialogue and other things. But, rest assured, they are gone. The writers of Sonic Forces are no longer writing for Sega, I believe. Unless they are writing for Sega, but other properties, I don't know. But I know for Sonic... In Sonic Frontiers, there's new writers. I believe oh, I forgot the name of him, but he writes the comics. I've even made a video on him. I can't believe I forgot his name. It's just not on the top of my head. Sonic Writer Zero Gravity. This is the one I haven't played. I've seen footage, but until I've played, I'm just gonna put a B tier for like because B is good to me. Like it's good, but I feel like I couldn't be A tier if I liked it more because I haven't played it. When I play it, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll stream that game one day. Yeah, and then I'll let you guys know. I'll be like, oh, you remember that tier list video I did like years ago or months ago? Yeah, I'm going to move Sonic um, Rider Zero Gravity to an A or an S. But for right now, I'm just going to put out a B. Sonic Unleashed, it's obvious. That's just an S. Oh, it's over It's over these two, 100%. Sonic, actually, actually. No, I don't know. Because I want to put Sonic 06 over Unleashed. But do I want to put it over Mania? Oh, yeah, I do. Of course, 100%. But I don't know. Maybe over Unleashed. Yeah. Because I wasn't... I like the more open-worldy um, thing for Sonic rather than that linear, like, boost to win gameplay. But I believe Sonic Unleashed is still one of the only Sonic games to fully utilize it to its potential. Unleashed was awesome. The story was good. The dialogue was good. The music was S-tier. Um, the gameplay, it did bring us to the whole boost era, which I don't like, but it did it the best. It did it better than Generations and Colors, and that's what it, that's why it's on S tier, and that's why it's, like, that high. Though it's probably gonna get lower once we get to the more adventure games. Sonic Advance 2, I prefer it right under Sonic Advance. I mean, there's not much I want to say, it's just what it is, like, I just prefer Sonic Advance. In fact, where's Sonic Advance 3? I'll just get that out of the way, too. Uh, Sonic Advance 3. There, is that 3? Yeah. I'm gonna put that over Advance. I like Sonic <laughs> Advance 3 the most. Oh, why can't I? Okay, yeah. I don't know. I like that whole team-up thing. Where you can, like, combine everyone's powers. It's cool. You just, it's just Sonic Advance, but more advanced. Except Sonic Advance 2. It was just the same level of Advance, but I just preferred... Sonic Advance 1. Shadow the Hedgehog. It's not bad, but it's not, like, phenomenal. I'll just give it a B tier over... Uh, over Riders. There. That's that's good. That's good. It, it has... I understand its criticism. But it was a cool game. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. I know most people don't, and I could see why. But I just do. It's fun. Sonic Jump? Is this that one mobile game? Because I do remember... Jump. I remember this one really fun Sonic game. Where it's like, it's on your phone. 
Uh, it's like Doodle Jump. If you guys know what Doodle Jump is, then you know what I'm talking about. I feel like this is that game. If it is... Right here. Right. Overriders. It was so fun. It was just Doodle Jump, but Sonic. I'm pretty sure... No, no, no. It wasn't at arcades. I know Doodle Jump. You could play those at arcades. Not Sonic Jump. That was just mobile exclusive. Sonic Rush was awesome. Put that over CD. 100%. Um, did I prefer Rush Adventure? No, I didn't. Rush, Sonic Rush, the first one was just so good. I should replay it soon. Probably on the video. I'll just do like a fun like Sonic Rush playthrough. Just why not? Sonic Riders, I've played it. A tier. End of A tier. It's really, it's it's really good. If you guys like racing games, it's it's a pretty good game. I like the story. It has a really cool opening CGI cutscene, though the rest of the game looks a little choppy when it comes to cutscenes. But like for the time when it's from, I believe it's a mid 2000s game. It was pretty good at its time, and it still deserves an A tier. Like it was just good. Sonic and the Secret Rings. I played a bit of it. I just give it a high B tier. I really like the Sonic Storybook games. I really hope they go back to it. Maybe give us another one. I don't... Or maybe remaster Sonic um, and the Black Knight. I really love Sonic and the Black Knight. And you'll see in a few minutes. But Sonic and the Secret Rings. You go in the B tier. You're a pretty good game. It has really cool cutscenes. There's good... Fu oh, is it really cutscenes? I guess it's like storybook pages. But you know what I mean. Music's good. Dark Spine Sonic. He looks sick. The final... The battles are cool. I just wish, uh, compared to Black Knight, I just wish there was a lot more fun in the levels themselves. I preferred Sonic and the Black Knight. It was a little more challenging. Uh, Sonic Chronicles. D tier, but over Sonic Forces. <laughs> I would play Sonic Chronicles over Forces. Chronicles just has a lot of issues. It's weird. I'm just... Sega just shouldn't have, like, stepped away from RPGs just because of Sonic Chronicles. There was a, There's potential with Sonic in RPGs. Like, it's possible. You can do it in the right way. Just Sonic Chronicles itself just wasn't it. It just wasn't the way to go. Sonic Dash 2. Uh, what, do, what do you even give the Sonic Dash games? They're just there. I'm uh, just giving it... I don't know. I want to put it, like, anywhere up here, but then there's going to be people like, What? You put it over... The Secret Rings, you put it over Advance, you put it over Sonic 06 now. Um, I'll just give it the end of B tier. Yeah, where else could you put it? Obviously, Sonic Dash 1 is the more iconic one. Probably the more fun one as well. I do like Sonic Dash 1 more. Even though I don't play the Dash games as often as I did like years and years ago. But for right now, it stays there. Sonic, which one is that? Ah, oh, it's so small. Sonic Boom. Okay, that's Rise of Lyric. Or is that Rise of Lyric? Yeah. Shattered Crystals is the 3DS one. Okay. I'd say D tier. Just at the highest. Actually. Mm, Sonic Boom was just different, but in a bad way. Not like Sonic Lost World, where it's different, but it's still Sonic. Sonic Boom just didn't feel like Sonic. Or at least the Sonic we knew. If they were going for a different... Obviously, they are going for a different alternative universe Sonic. For which, that Sonic is cool. Sonic Boom, the TV show, it's really good. I really love... Obviously, nothing beats Sonic X. But Sonic Boom was just... For its time, it was awesome. I'm, man, I'm so upset that they never got a third season. They could have done way more characters and everything. It would have been so cool. We got Vector in the second season. It was cool. What is this, Sonic Is this Sonic and Knuckles or Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Wait, where's the other Sonic 3? Okay, this is just Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah, I'd put that. It has Lava Reef. Oh, actually, Mania has Lava Reef as well. Lava Reef is a really good... I love Lava Reef. <laughs> I'm just going to put it over Sonic Mania. Yeah, if it was Sonic 3 and Knuckles, probably... Actually, no, it would have probably stayed there. <laughs> over Mania. Um... I'll explain why I prefer it more than Mania as soon as we get to Sonic 3. Okay, Sonic 4 Episode 1, highest C tier. Why not? Better than... Was it better than Sonic 4 Episode 2? Uh, I mean, Sonic... Uh, I don't know. I don't remember Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2 that much. I just remember Sonic 4 Episode... If you had both of the games, you could play as Metal Sonic. That was pretty cool. But... 
That's all I have to say for that one. Sonic and Sega All-Star Race. Come on. Come on. Put it over. Put it under Rush. A tier. 100%. Sonic. Like, that was the first Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing game. It was it was just good. It was awesome. In fact, I don't know what went wrong with Team Sonic. I mean, I know what went wrong with Team Sonic Racing. But I just can't believe how they were able to make a mobile Sonic Racing game better than an official Sonic Team licensed racing game. That's just weird to me, but... It is what it is. It happened. Can't change that. Sonic 1. High A tier. Sonic 1's good. It's the origins of Sonic. It has a lot of cool parts to it. There's some parts I don't like. Labyrinth Hill Zone. Or was that the level name? Labyrinth. Wait. I'm going to search. The or was it Ruin? Sonic 1. Labyrinth. Or just Labyrinth Zone. I thought it was Ruin. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Yeah. High A tier. That's a good place for it. And the music, obviously outstanding. Every zone had really good music. I like the, oh, the boss battle music is still one of my favorites from the classic Sonic games. In fact, Sonic 1, 2, well, Sonic 1, 2, and 3, and Knuckles had the best boss battle themes. They were just really good. Like, I could still listen to them to this day. Obviously, like the remixes too. The remixes are really good on YouTube. I should do like a tier video of just Sonic music remixes. Um, All-Star Racing Transformed, yeah, it was good. I wouldn't put it over racing, but I put it at the end of eight here. It was still good. Like, it just it just added more to the game, but the first one just... Maybe it's nostalgia hitting me. Maybe Sonic and All-Star Racing Transformed is the better game, but... Nostalgia's, like, just, like, blinding me, but... Hey, you can't argue with nostalgia. The power of nostalgia in the palm of my... Okay, Generations, um... Where should I put Generations? I want to put it at the end of S tier. Or the highest of the A tier. Wait. Actually. Uh, yeah, I'll just put it. End of S tier. It's awesome. It, it wasn't unleashed, but it was a little less. But it was still like, I'd say throughout the Boost era games, the second best game we had was Generations. Third is Colors. And then, we're not getting into the, la the rest. But Generations was awesome. It's sad that they kind of went downhill after that, but you never know. Sonic Frontiers could change that. Well, it will, because it's not a boost game. In that sense, it will literally, physically change. Sonic Spinball, it's just... It's like Sonic Dash. Like, where do I put it? I do prefer it over Sonic. No, I don't. I'm lying. I'm gonna put it there. Actually, no. It has good music. I'm gonna put it under Sonic 4. Like, if you came up to me and said, do you wanna play Sonic Spinball or do you wanna play Sonic 4? I'm most likely going to end up saying, let's play Sonic 4. Heroes? Oh, come on. I'm gonna put it right under Unleashed. Here, it's... There's criticism. I get it. The, the homing attack is weird, I admit. The level design is top tier. I, they went so insanely hard with that. I'm pretty sure it was Azuka who did it. Which, I kinda wish they would have him back for level designer. But, hey, it is what it is. Sonic Heroes had, like, an amazing soundtrack, amazing levels. The story's good. The gameplay mechanics were cool. Besides the homing attack, I enjoyed it. I hated I Though I did hate how you had to do all the stories to get to the final boss. But, in, in, like, in, like, in a game like Sonic Adventure, it makes more sense, I guess. But Sonic Heroes, well, maybe I'm complaining about the difficulty. Even though... I did complete the game many times, but actually, no, nah, I take that back. I, I don't. I just don't have an opinion on having the final boss or not the final, like the final story after completing them all. They've been doing that for a lot of Sonic games. Sonic Heroes was just doing the same thing. It's fine. Um, Sonic Pinball Bar. I've never played Sonic. I've seen it, obviously. I'm just gonna put it at the end of C tier. I don't know. I've seen a little bit of gameplay of it. It looks cool, but I wouldn't spend hours on it, so it's, I'll just put it there. Sonic Three. Okay, let's get. Let's talk about. Oh, actually, no, it's over. Knuckles. It has ice caps. It has ice cap zone. Um, why Sonic Three Knuckles is over Mania? It's just there was just so much more to it. Obviously, Mania had like the better graphics, but Sonic Three Knuckles honestly had the better levels, and Mania obviously borrows some of those levels but it had the better soundtrack 
it have the better levels? Okay, the music sounds like it sounds better in Mania because obviously it's like it can make music more better into games compared to what they did in 1993 or 1994. Um, but it just had the better soundtrack. The bosses were so good. Sonic Mania had good bosses too, but everything about Sonic 3 was just evolutionary, especially for its time. It still deserves that respect. And it had Michael Jackson. Come on. <laughs> Sonic Battle. Oh yeah, I've completed this game. Um, I liked it. I don't. I don't think a lot of people. I've recently learned that a lot of people don't like Sonic Battle. It's weird to me, but it is what it is. I'll put it at the end of A tier. It's a good game. It's fun, and they did adapt it into Sonic X too. Um, but yeah, A tier. It's a pretty good game. I love the story and everything. ML, pretty cool. Sonic Drift 2, was this like the first <laughs> attempt at like a Sonic racing game? I don't know, I've seen a lot of footage of it. I'll just put it at the, at the end of B tier. It's definitely no Sonic and I'll start racing transform. In fact, I'll put Sonic Drift 1 over it. They were good for their time though. They were pretty cool. Fire and Ice. Sonic Boom Fire and Ice was actually the only good Sonic Boom franchise game. Like... I enjoyed it. it. It was it was cool. Literally, it's fire and ice. It was cool. Um, I'll put it at the end of B. Actually, yeah, I prefer that over Sonic Four for sure. In fact, for Sonic Four Episode Two, did I already do that, or did they just not add it to the list? Wait, there is no Sonic Four Episode Two in the list. What? That's weird. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Shattered Crystal. Over the Wii U version, actually. But still, D tier still sucks. I don't even have to explain. You guys already know why Sonic Boom sucks. It's just everything about it. Like, I don't know what went differently for Sonic Boom Fire and Dice. But hey, they managed to pull it off a little better eventually. It took a while, but they did. But still, Sonic Boom Fire and Dice wasn't like the greatest Sonic game. It's just there. It's just the end of B tier. I prefer it over all of these games. And I'm sure a majority of you guys probably do too. If you've played Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. If you haven't, you probably think it's just as bad. And I don't blame you for that. These two games have set the reputation for the Sonic Boom franchise. And we're really close to having Sonic Forces set the reputation for the entire Sonic franchise. But hopefully, Frontiers can stop that from happening. Sonic 2... Under Mania, it's awesome. I love Sonic 2. I prefer it over Sonic 1. It's basically just Sonic 1 minus all the criticism people had about Sonic 1. Like, there's more places to utilize your speed. There's Super Sonic. You got Tails. You got cool new levels. The music is even better. It's awesome. Sonic 2 is a really good game. Just not as good as Mania or Sonic 3. Sonic Winter. Yep. Sonic Winter 1. Yep. Yeah. They're self-explanatory. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 1 was obviously way better, to me at least, than Sonic Adventure 2. I think I just preferred the gameplay more in Sonic Adventure 1. I really love the open world, like, thing, or the open zone thing with Sonic Adventure. I guess Sonic Adventure 2 just had more cooler characters, because we had, like, Shadow. We get to play as Shadow, we get to play as Rouge, we get to play as Eggman. But then Sonic Adventure had, like, a good story. Oh, well, they both have awesome stories. I love Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2's story. I feel like I feel like E102 Gamma story just was so top tier for any Sonic game that it just every time I think of Sonic Adventure, I just remember how sad E102 Gamma story was, and that just makes me want to put it there. And the music, the bosses, all cool. Sonic Adventure 2 had like better graphics. The controls were. I guess objectively better. Sonic Adventure had more glitchy controls, but that's what made it more fun. Spamming the homing attack is the most coolest thing ever. We need that back. I don't care if it's a glitch. They shouldn't have nerfed it in future Sonic games with Spin Dash. Okay, they should have. Well, if they wanted to get like better reviews and stuff. But I, I don't know. I don't know what reviewers have against spamming the home or the the Spin Dash, but they should grow up. IGN, grow up. Sonic and the Black Knight. Oh, oh, come on. End of S tier. I love Sonic and the Black Knight. It's one of... It's awesome. I just love it. I know a lot of people don't. 
Well, I mean, a lot of people are okay with the game. I don't think a lot of people actually hate it. They're just like, oh, it's there. I loved it. Man, the mechanics are cool. The music is awesome. You get to play as Shadow Blaze and uh, Knuckles at one point. They're a part of the story as well. You have the old voice cast and everything. The mid-2000s voice cast from Sonic X. It's awesome. I mean, come on. Blaze, Shadow, Knuckles. They're cool. The music, the story, the opening CGI. Awesome. Just keep it. It's good. It's good at the end of S tier. Sonic Colors, highest A tier. It is an awesome game. I have Sonic Colors Ultimate. Um, obviously, Sonic Colors the original triumphs it, but I guess they're fixing Sonic Colors Ultimate. And who knows? Maybe Colors Ultimate could go over the original if they fixed every flaw about it. And it seems like they are, and that's pretty cool. But I'm not that big. Oh, well, I was a fan of the Wisps when. They were only in Sonic Colors and Generations. But when they started using them more, it got a little annoying because it was so clear they're trying to replace the other characters and they're trying to replace the wit or the um, um, Chows. Which kind of annoys me a little. But, I don't... When I play Sonic Colors and Generations, I don't hate the Wisps while I'm playing them because in my head I'm like... Well, yeah, they were meant for this game specifically, but then every other game that includes them, I don't mind if a game like Trans or All Star Racing or Team Sonic Racing or like those spin-off games include the Wisps, but I hate when they utilize them in more mainline Sonic games, such as Sonic Forces and Lost World. They just shouldn't have. But for this game, they're okay, and it sits at the highest of the A tier, and that's good to me. Sonic Dash One, yeah, I beat Sonic Dash Two. It, it, where do I put it? I don't know. I'll just put it there. It's just self-explanatory. It's, it's iconic. It's awesome. Free Riders, it's so good. I'll put it at the end of A tier, though. Not as good as the original. To me, at least. I love the original. Maybe that's also another nostalgia thing. But it's, it's good at the end of A tier. And then Sonic R. I've never played Sonic R. I've always wanted to, and I could. I have the chance. Like I could just get an emulator. I could just play. It's, 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 it's probably the most easiest game to emulate. But I've just never had the time. But I've always wanted to, which is the weirdest thing. So you'd imagine that I'd play it eventually, but I just still haven't gotten to it. Maybe I'll do it on stream one day. That'll be cool. Um, From all the gameplay I've seen and listen to the music, the soundtrack goes so hard. I listen to that soundtrack a lot. I'll just put it at... I don't know, middle A tier. I'll put it over CD, but I think I should move CD over All-Star Racing. There you go. That's perfect. And that is my tier list of all, like, Sonic games. And I hope it's a good tier list. I hope you guys agree with it. You guys might not, and that's okay. You guys might have your own favorite Sonic games in your own tier list. But that's mine, and that's all I have to say. And show you guys and obviously there's a lot of updates coming to this channel and a lot of other channels and streaming it's gonna be cool we're really about to take over YouTube it's gonna be insane we're at 60 subs or what are we at 63 we're about to hit that hundred mark my channel is growing at a really good pace the views are up it's it's really good I, I, I enjoy looking at it I'm happy you guys are here it's been fun obviously I took a little break but that is only to make the channel bigger in many ways. There's a lot of plans coming up, a lot of different types of content, but the Sonic news will always remain. And that's the best part, because I'm not going to just give up one thing that everyone's already subbed for and started um, expecting from me just to switch over to something else, right? No, I'll just have a variety of different things. There will be a lot of diversity in the content. Something for everyone. I hope so, at least. But with that out of the way, see you guys next time.